Welcome to the Dynon Channel, your video source for information, education, and training on Dynon Avionics' industry-leading line of integrated avionics for experimental amateur-built and light sport aircraft. Today's topic, Skyview System, calibrating the autopilot servos. In this video, I would like to demonstrate the process for configuring the autopilot servos in a Skyview system. Uh, currently, I'm sitting in uh, an aircraft that's equipped with a Skyview. It's already been configured and been flying for some time, but I'm going to demonstrate the process as if I were starting from scratch. Now, to access the autopilot servo calibration, we must get into the system setup screens, and we do that by pressing and holding buttons 7 and 8. I'm sure you've seen this before. The screen changes and we're now looking at the main setup menu. Now notice as we scroll down this list, several items down there's an item called autopilot setup. And if we look to the right, there's several items related to the autopilot setup. However, this is not where we access the calibration process. That has to do with hardware. Uh, all of the items we see on the autopilot setup have to do with uh, changing software settings, uh, sensitivity, and so on. Looking back to the left side of the menu, we need to scroll all the way down to the bottom to hardware calibration. And we see on the right-hand screen there's four items. We're going to select that right-hand list now by clicking the knob to the right. Now notice the third item down says Autopilot Servo Calibration. I'll select that and again press my knob to the right. Here we are on the Autopilot Servo Calibration menu and there's three items. Status, Calibration, and Test. The status page on the right gives me the status of each of the two servos in my uh, installed in my airplane and as I said they've previously been calibrated so their roles are defined the system knows which is the roll servo which is the pitch servo if you've never performed the calibration process in your airplane the roles of each servo will be uh, undefined until we complete the calibration process so let's do that now we're well, switching back to the left screen we're going to highlight the second item that says calibration I've highlighted, it, highlighted that, and I press the knob to the right. Ah, the right-handed screen now is going to give me the instructions I need to follow to complete this process. So it says we found two servos, and it's instructing me to center all control surfaces and make sure they have free range of motion. So I'm moving my control stick, which is out of your view, full forward and back, full left and right, and I'll return it to the center position. Notice down here, it now says press disconnect switch to continue. My disconnect switch is on the control stick and I'm pressing that now. My screen changes. Now the system is going to instruct me on how to define the extreme corners of the range of motion for the control stick. Or if you had a control wheel in your airplane, the same thing. Notice the first option says full pitch down, full roll left. So I push the stick all the way forward and left to the four, far left corner of its movement box and it says press OK below or the disconnect switch to continue. I'm going to press the OK button. Now the screen changes. It says full pitch down, full roll right. I'm moving the stick all the way to the forward right hand corner of its movement box and again I'll press OK. Next it says full pitch up, full roll, roll right. I pull the stick all the way back to the right corner and press OK. Next it says full pitch up, full roll left. The stick goes all the way to the back left corner and I press OK. Now here's an interesting screen. Notice it says measured throw more than 120 degrees for pitch servo. Press yes if this servo is attached via a capstan, a linear actuator or other method that is not a control arm. The reason this is important is that in a case of a, a servo that actuates using a control arm, uh, the servo is restricted to no more than 100, 120 degrees of uh, rotational movement. That is to prevent the, the possibility of the servo swinging what we call over center and becoming locked in a position that would uh, restri restrict the control surfaces from moving. So in this case, my airplane does indeed have a, a capstan servo on the pitch axis, and I will acknowledge yes to this message. Now I've done that. The system says the calibration was su successful. We found both a roll servo and a pitch servo. And finally, it says press OK 
below or press disconnect switch to continue. I'm going to press the OK button. Ah, from there, uh, the system moves directly into the servo test. It's the same as if I had chosen the test option from the left screen. But here, uh, it's instructing me to again center the control stick and press OK to begin the test. I'll do that now. Now it says control surface should now be at a position of pitch up and roll right. And it wants me to confirm yes or no, did it move in the right direction? It did in fact move correctly. That means the servos are properly identified. I do want to stress, however, that in, during this test, the control stick will not move to the com far corner of its movement. Uh, your purpose here is simply to confirm that the stick is moving in the proper direction. We are not confirming that it moves all the way to the far margins of the box. So my stick moved properly, I'll press yes. Next, pitch down, roll left, meaning did my stick move forward and left? Yes, it did. Again, it didn't move all the way to the corner I defined, but it did move in the proper direction. Again, we're confirming the proper uh, function of each servo. Again, I'll press yes. And finally, to complete the test, it says I must press the disconnect switch to finish. Notice it doesn't give me the option of using the OK button. We do that so that we can ensure that you do in fact have a functioning disconnect switch in your system. Without a disconnect switch properly wired, you cannot complete this test. I'll press the disconnect switch now, and the, the screen changes to say my servo test was successful. Servo should now be disengaged. Yes, I have free movement of the control stick. And finally, press OK to return to the servo calibration menu. OK, and I'm done. If I move my knob uh, using the left knob, I switch back up to the status screen and look to the right. Again, it tells me roll servo. My serial number, it says it's installed. It's not currently engaged. And uh, a number of other status items about that servo. And then secondly, it says shows me the same information about my pitch servo. So that's the process of com calibrating your autopilot servos. Again, it's very simple. Uh, you can see that uh, some of you have the question when you first install your servos, uh, how does the Skyview know which one is the pitch and roll? Well, the system learns that through this process we just now completed. Uh, if you need more information on this process, please don't hesitate to call our tech support staff, or even better, read the Skyview installation manual. Uh, it's a very comprehensive manual, and I think you'll find all the information you need there. But again, don't hesitate to call our tech support staff. They're eager to help you. Thanks for watching. For more information on planning or capabilities of the Skyview system, please see our website at dynonavionics.com where you can find links to our system installation guides, pilot user guides, and other valuable information like our user form. Thank you for watching the Dynon channel.